So if you're a hooper that loves to dissect film, break down players, all that stuff, I think the best way to do it is this. I've been coming across a lot of these videos that are kind of these highs and lows videos. So they not only show the highlights of a player, but also kind of the low lights, so to speak, the missed shots. And I think these are the most important to watch. And I'll kind of show you that in this Kyrie Irving video as I break it down. Because number one, it's not always perfection. It's not always the highlights. So you get the full perspective, the full picture, and you can see in a little bit more of a condensed fashion how these players actually mess up sometimes. Then you can kind of break down those mess ups, maybe how they rebound psychologically from some of these. And then also there are always those plays where they do something well that maybe we can learn from and they just miss the shot so it doesn't end up in the highlight reel so i'll give you guys an example here with this Kyrie video let's check it out and i'll show you why these are probably the best videos to watch on this first play it's a good look just a little bit low but notice how Kyrie stays with it and is able to scoop it low straight up into that jump then kind of brings the ball down on the finish to get some momentum going upwards on this one watch how much he's able to hang that ball to rotate set his feet and buy time to read the defender without caring then stops slightly turned away tucks the ball as he pivots and shoots from a staggered position this is tough and this next play is one of the reasons why i like these so he's bringing the ball up the court in a close stance body in between the ball and alvarado which is good but he gets all the space in the world and just runs into zion and turns it over great defense for sure but maybe he could have slowed down maybe he could have used a wider angle or maybe not just something to think about here as he's coming off the screen he switches hands pretty early as he knows he's going to get to this right hand drive and notice how he literally jumps backwards on this shot to avoid zion's contest i wouldn't say this is bad technique at all it's actually a shot Kyrie makes a ton just a miss here now notice the off arm here mccullum is giving him a hand so Kyrie says bet i'm gonna hold that and use it to my advantage then as he drives this happens travel maybe but he doesn't stop and actually makes a super positive play this next shot is just insane Fumbles the ball into a lefty fadeaway. Can't break down much about that one. Next play here, he makes a break for that handoff as soon as he passes it. A time where most defenders let up a bit, like you see here. He creates some good space, but drifts a bit as he shoots. Is this the reason why he missed? Can't really say, but he probably could have gotten some better balance here. Next play is an interesting decision. Big man has to go down on this roll pretty soon. Alvarado's out of control behind him. So maybe a bit of patience, slowing down a little bit before that shot could have done him well. There are 15 seconds on the shot clock still, so maybe separating out for a mid-range or even backing it out would have been good. On this triple threat, notice the foot positioning. He has his back foot ready to take that crazy explosive negative step. Then when Alvarado does that little old man reach around, Kyrie protects it by cuffing it and hopping to the inside, and his ability to jump out of that into a little lateral lefty finish is insane. Next play, notice how he gets stopped, but as he retreats, he maintains that forward lean to make it easier for him to reattack. Pretty good move out of that, just tough spacing and misses a decent shot. Then lastly, watch how he sets up this kind of flat screen and gets into pretty much a swim move to go under it. Then you'll notice that he's keeping tabs on McCollum with his eyes as he's catching that ball and decides to shoot again, decent shot that he just misses. So notice a couple things here. Number one, I'm willing to be a bit critical. Could I make any of these plays at anywhere near Kyrie's level? Hell no. But I do think learning from the great players' mistakes can be beneficial along with learning from what they do well. Number two, I'm looking super deep into the plays. It's not just what he's doing. It's why, it's how, it's the little details. This is something I'd encourage you guys to do as well. As always, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at By Any Means Basketball for a lot more.